You know who never fails us? Uh, that is Shannon Bream. She is the Fox News Sunday anchor and Fox News chief legal correspondent, and we love seeing her on Sunday. Shannon, good morning. How are you? Good morning, gang. You were spread all over the U.S. It's great to yes, see you. It's great to see you, as always. <laughs> we want to shift a little bit uh, to politics, to the big event that mm -hmm. happened this week. Uh, you know, overnight, midnight, Kevin McCarthy given the gavel as the Speaker of the House, but they deferred on a rules package uh, mm -hmm. that they ultimately now have to agree on to get to work. Uh, that vote, I believe, is scheduled for Monday. What does the future of a GOP-led House look like with that vote and legislation? Yeah, listen, it's going to be tricky. As you guys know, this is such a slim majority, not what they were hoping for with the talk of a red tsunami last fall. But as you saw play out with the speaker's vote, 15 ballots to get to the new speaker, there's going to have to be a lot of negotiation. So the new rules package is out there. I've been going through sort of the 12 pages of minutia. Some of it you'll recognize um, things that they had decided about how and when to vote on certain things. But the funny thing is, after all of those negotiations, we already see some members popping up and saying, I don't like the new rules package. So, mm -hmm. listen, there's been a lot of negotiating to get to this point, but it's not over. And you're right, they've got to get these done before they can start doing things that are substantive in nature. So, uh, still some folks not happy with what the end result ended up to be. So, we'll see if they can get it together on Monday and hopefully not another 15 round of votes <laughs> on the rules. So, Shannon, um, I'm going to fire off, unfortunately, several questions in one, but I think they all go together, and hopefully you can, you can handle it. One, what are, they, what are the members saying they don't like about yeah. this rules package? Two, what if they don't pass it? I mean, what is the fallout there from, I mean, the repercussions now? There's not much leverage left for the 20 holdouts, mm -hmm. I would assume, but what happens if they don't pass the rules package that was part of the concessions to elect Kevin McCarthy speaker? Mm -hmm. So first question first, it's interesting that the people who are saying, um, Congressman Tony Gonzalez, for one, on Twitter, saying, oh, oh, I don't like the new rules package. But he hasn't told us what it is. There's so much there, 12 pages, like I said, very, very detailed. So it'll be interesting now that members are kind of recovering from what happened uh, late into the night, Friday, early Saturday morning. Many of them went home for a day or two. They're looking at these rules packages. We'll come back on Monday. So we haven't heard their specific objections other than this general consensus from some of them that they're not happy with what ended up on paper. They've got to iron this out because the House has to operate. You've got a speaker now. All the members are sworn in now. They're going to have to figure it out because the vote is going to happen and they do not the GOP does not want to have a repeat of what happened last week um, they had a lot of sausage making everybody got to watch it happen but now the pressure is on them to actually govern so I think it's going to be a lot less messy there may be some objections and some back and forth but they know that the time for you know gamesmanship is over these folks who were objecting got nearly everything they asked for in this package so it's got to come together and quickly and Shannon, do we have any, in, any indication who those members are that have those issues with the rules? Is it the same members of the Freedom Caucus? Is it the same uh, 20 or so names that we've been discussing a lot in this last week? Or is it different members that heretofore were allies of McCarthy? McCarthy? I I think mostly what you're going to hear from is that group of 20, although okay. they've been pretty quiet this weekend. I think they everybody's letting the dust settle a little bit over what happened Friday and Saturday, um, mm -hmm. nearly coming to a physical altercation on the floor. Yeah. Um, I think everybody wants to cool off from that. Like I said, Tony Gonzalez is the one who's out there publicly on Twitter saying, um, I don't like it. So we'll have to see. There are others who are saying, listen, this is what we negotiated down to. It gives conservatives uh, much more than they would have gotten going into the speaker vote. So let's take, you know, the wins and run mm -hmm. with it. Um, so we'll see. But a, a lot of, uh, I think, silence uh, is doing the speaking now for those 20 who finally, mm. whether they voted president or they voted for Kevin McCarthy, they're done talking for now. Well, many of them voted for your guest this Sunday, uh, whether he mm -hmm. wanted that vote or not. Uh, Jim Jordan, tell us who you have on Fox News Sunday today. Yeah, Jim Jordan's going to be with us, and we'll talk about where they go from here. There's a lot of you know criticism out there from people and, and mainstream pundits and the left saying, this proves that you guys are crazy extremists who can't get it done. So he's pledged a lot of investigations. How is that going to go for them? Where do they go mm -hmm. from here? And prove they can get things done. We've also got Democrat Congressman Ro Khanna from the other side of the Hill. We're going to talk with him um, about some of what he was saying during uh, this. He was potentially willing to forge a deal with Republicans on a consensus speaker, didn't come to that, but also about the border. Everything you guys have brought up, does the White House have to own this thing? And also because Congressman Khanna was one of the few people that appeared in these Twitter files to yeah. show up and say, 
Uh, there are free speech concerns here. There are more Twitter revelations uh, yesterday that I want to ask him about as well. And does he think that the White House now owes us an explanation? Hmm. The Twitter files continue, and you're covering it. Shannon Breen, thank you so much. You can watch you Fox bet. News Sunday today at 2 p.m. on the Fox News Channel. Thank you, Shannon. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.